Hello, my friend. This is Tony Stewart calling, <laughs> checking in. I tell you what, what a day this has been. You ever know when you wake up in the morning and the first thing you hear is an alarm? A beep, 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 beep. And it's not the regular alarm that you wake up to and you know something's up? Well, that was my day this morning. Uh, heard the alarm, immediately went downstairs to my basement and I found what um, no one wants to really see when they go down in their basement, and that's water. Now, the good news is my basement, although it was wet, it was not flooded. Just some water had come down there because uh, all night there were all these flood watches and flood warnings uh, uh, that were going on in my neighborhood. And uh, even right now, if you look in the backyard, what you'll see is water standing uh, with all my neighbors and so forth. So it was uh, definitely quite an experience to go down there, see some, hey, Roger, go downstairs and see water down there that you didn't put down there and uh, have to deal with it. So I wanted to share with you real quick some lessons I learned from this experience because in every adversity is a seed of a greater benefit. And that greater benefit may very well be me being able to pass on some wisdom. So if I had to do it all over again, one of the things I would have done is I would have tested my sump pump once I heard there was a flood coming. And what's so important about this is that you can test it. My I went downstairs and my sump pump was still. It wasn't doing anything. And I opened it up in the tub basin where it had water in and so forth and so on. Well, had I taken those you know, weather alerts that said a flood was coming and used that as a trigger to go down there and test my sump pump, I'd have known that there was an issue, could have got it replaced, and uh, not have to deal with any water down there. Unfortunately, I did not do that and had to have it replaced after the fact. Uh, fortunately, everything is good. The, it's drying out down there real well. Uh, the pump is, has been pumping all day, which you would imagine, because we've just got some incredible rains here in Columbus, Ohio. So that's what I did wrong, and that's what I would do differently. The thing I did right is I got these little things, and I should have brought one up here, a little plastic do jobby here, hey Matt, that you can put down on your basement floor that'll tell you if any moisture hits it. And that's the alarm I heard this morning. So because of that, I was able to go downstairs, take some immediate action and intervene before it became a bigger issue. So I'd encourage you, I'm, they can be expensive. I think I got them at a, a home improvement store and it was less than 10 bucks. But I got a couple of them, I spread them out in my basement, and I'm telling you, it makes a difference because it gives you that alert that something's up. So proactive action, test your sump pump. Reactive action, have an alarm set off so that if it does go out, then you have the ability to hop in there and intervene as soon as possible. I hope this helps you because it's been a great help to me. And thank you. Yeah, Matt, it's, it's all good because, again, I caught it early, but I learned some lessons where I wouldn't have any witness down there had I done a little testing of it beforehand. Hey, Alexis. So anyway, uh, the other advice I have for you is I got five books that you should be reading right now with all the virus stuff going on and being uh, shut in at home and so forth. Five books you should have your hands on. So I, if you inbox me, send me a private message. I'll, I'll send you those five books that you should be Check it out. I think you'll be glad you did. And you can even check them out tonight because they're all Kindle enabled. So anyway, have a blessed day. Stay dry, stay safe, and stay positive. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.